Hello, Namaskar. Welcome to NCRT's live interaction. This is Simran Singh. You are watching us through PME Vidya. You can also connect with us through our YouTube channel, that is NCRT Official. Before commencing our today's session, let me inform you about some of the basic details. In case you want to reach out to us, feel free to contact us at our toll-free number, that is double eight double zero double four zero five five nine. As today we'll be discussing about class ninth. So official mail ID for class ninth is dth dot class ninth at the rate ciet dot nic dot n. So let me quickly tell you the topic that we'll be discussing today is the road not taken, authored by Robert Frost. It is a poem, and it is for class ninth, English subject. And I feel this topic is very interesting by the title itself. I am very curious about it. So to have an elaborated discussion regarding the topic, we are joined by an expert. Let me introduce him to you. We have with us Professor R. Meghanathan. Namaskar, Hello. sir. Namaskar. Hello. Hello, learners. Hello, sir. Hmm. Sir is currently serving at Department of Education in Languages, NCERT. As I already mentioned, that this is very curious and this is going to be very interesting. So let's learn from sir. Okay, fine. All right. There is nothing to learn from anyone. Uh, let's appreciate the poem, understand the poem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let let me uh, start by asking questions to the learners, well as to you. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, you have been through school. School means you have finished yeah. school and university. Of course, the learners are in teenage, and they are in their standard nine, class nine, and lot of dreams and ambitions with them. So. What were your ambitions and uh, wishes when you were in school? Let let let's begin with you. Well, when I was in school, I remember I wanted to be a doctor, okay. <laughs> but somehow that didn't right. work so out you, for me. So you it, you have not become a doctor. You have yeah. become much more than that. Fine. So let <laughs> me feel that you are a media person now. Yeah. So learners, you also may have hundred things in your mind what to become, and it it's kind of you no. Know, they are in the threshold of life. They got they are yet to start a career, uh, a life on them. But there are lots. So the point also here is in a dilemma. There are two roads which diverge near the forest. He doesn't know where which one to take. Then he says, "We'll see in the poem." Yeah. Okay. Sure. Then learners keep uh, recording your uh, thoughts about what you would become in life, and what as as uh, Simran has said, uh, she wanted to be a doctor, and she landed up in media, media, media thing. Yeah. And of course, the entire India is watching you. I don't know whether you could have been known as a doctor all over the country. Of course, you would have, you would have become yeah, a great doctor. Yeah, always uh, follow which way the wind blows. And that's what. So learners, that's what the road not taken. So let, let's do the first reading. Let's take a look at the um, uh, poem there. The road not taken. Deliberately, I'm not talking anything about the poet initially. We, if we have time, we will talk about later, sure. or we will give them as an assignment to know about the poet. He's sure, sure. We must start uh, with the poem uh, yeah. itself. So he is a, he is a, a, a very important poet for that matter. Come on, look at it. So let me read out uh, the first reading: "The road not taken, two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could." To where it bent in in the undergrowth. Don't bother about the meaning. Let's read the poem first. Then took the other, just as fair, and having perhaps the better climb, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as far that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, and leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Summer ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all all the difference. Yeah. See, the poet is actually trying to tell. So he wanted to travel. In one of the roads, because he can't travel both, he says that I am a lonely traveler. He has uh, a choice to make. Uh, so he had to make one choice. Fine. And why did he choose uh, choose that? Come on, let's look at the first stanza again. The two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel both, because be one traveler, long I stood, and I looked down and one as far as I could to where it bent. In the undergrowth, look at it. It's very clear. 
two roads diverge in a wood means near the forest and then I am sorry I cannot travel both it is impossible we are humans then so because I am a lone traveler and he stood for long time to decide which one to choose because that is what we the career choice is the be best thing to be in a dilemma always yeah. I, engineer, doctor, teacher mm -hmm. this that then and he says that I stood as long as I can then look down one as far as he looked at one of the, one of the roads uh, you know, as far as he could so that oh it is not cumbersome it is not uh, troublesome then it is uh, less trees it through the trees he look, looked at it but then but he has not decided then look at it L next paragraph he is then then took the other just fair whatever appeared to me less troublesome it is fair and having perhaps better climb. I thought that it is a better road. So, better climb because it was grassy and wanted wear. Well. It was less travel, it appeared to be less travel to me, though as for the passing there had warned them really about the same. But I do not know what I would feel having taken the road. But as far as of now it appears to be less travel. So, let me take it and it is more grass, less trees. Fine. Okay. Means the poet seems curious. Uh, curious and also yeah, be comfortable with that. Yeah. As every one of us uh, wanting to be very comfortable in our career, uh, less demanding in a way, it is quite hum natural for humans. Choosing an easy path for <laughs> easy us. Easy path. But is that, is that true? No. Look at it. <laughs> okay, then and, and, and both the morning equally lay, it, it leaves no step had trodden black. Meaning, see it is the morning, both the roads, lot of the uh, leaves have fallen. So I, he couldn't see any steps there. That means most of the most uh, both of the both the roads were less travelled by in one way. So he couldn't see what is there inside. So and I kept the first for another day. He said, okay. Let, let, I looked at the first one and he kept it for another day. Then and yet knowing how way leads on to way. Look at look at the usage. There are lots of ways. One way lead, leads to another. But anyhow, I know that one road I had to take, so I had taken. I doubted I should ever come back. I was thinking that I will keep the other, uh, the first road for another day. But he says, I don't know whether I will ever come back. It happens to us, every man. But I shall be telling this with a shy to everyone. I he kept on. He says that having crossed one road and never have come back, I will be telling people after people, and for ages, time after time, year after year, uh, what what I will be uh, saying. I shall be telling this with a shy. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less travelled by and that has made all the difference. You said that you wanted to be a doctor and you took some other path. Yeah, and that has made all the difference. That, that's what. So, this is what learners, you are also uh, in that kind of dilemma whether I will study this or do that, or whether I will become a sports person or a film star or doctor, engineer, teacher, what else and what not. But once you have chosen, that makes the difference. Another thing, all human actions will have unpredictable consequences. So, yeah. th th that's what the poet is saying. We will come to that. Now, I am going to request you to uh, uh, read out the poem to the learners. Can you? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Mm. So, here we have the poem that is a road not taken by Robert Frost. So, the first stanza is, two roads diverge in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveller, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then, took the other, just as fair, and having perhaps a better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh. I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way. I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverge in the wood and I took the one less travelled by and that has made all the difference. Okay learners, let us understand that human dilemma, at least some, some of the times you have four or five options what to choose. but. Uh, most of the times you have two options and that option success is depending on how you take up the option. Maybe the choices are in our hands, yes. but the consequences that 
aftermath, the consequences that we'll be facing because of our choices, uh, obviously that are unpredictable. That's why. Okay. Now, learners, uh, the idea of the poem is to provoke you. That's what Robert Frost is. Writes very simple, but very instinctively, very what's the thought provoking. So look at it. Uh, I'm going to ask you some questions. Huh? You will mm -hmm. have to answer on behalf of the learners. But let's let's take a look at the first one, then move on to uh, f uh, first stanza, then move on to um, answer the questions. I'm going to uh, put these uh, questions here so that uh, I can mark it as you answer. Fine. Look at it. Uh, let's uh, let me read out the uh, poem first. The first stanza. Yeah. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I couldn't travel both, and be one traveller, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the under undergrowth. So he, the, he is at the edge of the road, uh, uh, then, uh, then uh, two roads diverged, and he, was, he stood for a long time, then uh, he doesn't know which one to take. Then he decides. Come on, here. Uh, here, is, look, let's look at the paper here. Uh, I think it should have been bigger. Yeah, yeah. My apologies. Where is the point in the beginning of the poem? So we have four options here, yeah. and in the beginning, if it is asked, I think uh, we discussed about yellow woods. So it would be C hmm. near the forest. Forest. What about? I, I'm, I'm going to give option more than one is right. Yeah, ne uh, near the two roads. Okay, I think fine. The B so, also. Oh, bo both right. See, learners, uh, constructivist questions, more than one option is possible. So, that is what assessment is changing. Come on, now look at it. Who is the poet here? A poet, student, traveler, or a narrator? Now, this one is very easy. <laughs> the poet <laughs> is a traveler. He is a traveler, he travels. <laughs> so, it also signifies that we are all travelers in, the li in our life, our own life. From where we come, where we go, we do not know. Traveling for our journey. A journey and life's journey. Okay. Now, this is another one. Why did the poet stand for long? In the first stanza, we say that he stood as long as, as far as, he, he stood for a long time. Why? He was not able to decide which road to ta choose or he, he was able to decide and took, the one, took one road, we do not know which one. He was in a dilemma. He chose the road with full of trees. I think it has to be the first one. Mm. He was not able to decide which road to choose as we all don't know. Oh, fine. Then what about the third one? He was in a dilemma? Maybe he was in a dilemma later. Ah. But now the dilemma <laughs> has After getting come. to know but, that but there are But choices. learners might choose it. Okay, we'll leave it to them. Okay, <laughs> Fine, sure. fine. All right, no issue. Yeah, then, uh, okay, come on. Let's look at the uh, second stanza now. Then, then, uh, uh, okay, he says, he then he took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better climb. What is the better climb? He he assumed himself this road has better future. Means not, maybe uh, maybe <laughs> not much not much hurdles hmm? because it was grassy and wanted where though as far that the passing there had warned them really about the same. But maybe when I cross off off way then it may be the same. But I chose the second one. So come on, look at it. Which road? Look at here. Uh, uh, which road did he take? He took the road with full of grass. He took the road which, which was less travelled by. He chose the road with better future and he could not choose any road. Well, I think uh, if we have to answer this question according to the poem, fine. then it would be uh, the one, the road that is less travelled by. But as we were discussing about second stanza, mm -hmm. so maybe it could be C also. Fine. To choose a road. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm taking both, 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 both. So we'll leave it to the learner. Yeah. So fine. Now, you can now, make your choices. <laughs> fine. Now, now, now look at the uh, third stanza. Okay, I am going to ask you to read. Huh? Yeah. Mm. And both. The, and both that morning equally lay. In leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way. I doubted if I should ever come back. Fine, look at the um, fourth line, yet knowing how way leads to 
leads another on to way. another way. So we take one road that leads to another another. But the the road we first. We cannot undo anything. <laughs> that's what. That's what. So come on, look at it. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, the the question here. Uh, wanted where means useless. Fine. Okay. You straight away you said it. Uh, not by many. Okay. With a lot of holes. No. Is it a good road? We do not know. Yeah. We so don't first, know. You, you are right. You are right. Then, then let's look at uh, the other one. How did the road look like in the morning? Full of trees, full of leaves, full of holes and sand. Now this one is really confusing. Uh, I think <laughs> full of trees or full of leaves. Okay. Now look at the second stanza uh, here. And both that morning equally lay in leaves. No step had tried mm. in black. Means full of leaves. Full of leaves. Fine. Agreed. Okay. So look at the uh, uh, next question. Uh, what does it mean when he says, "I kept the first one for another day"? Meaning uh, the options: he kept the first, which he has not chosen for another day. He decided not to uh, not to take the first road. He kept the second road for another day. He could not travel on both the roads. I think it would be simple. He uh, he kept the first for another day. The fine. road which he oh, has on. Oh, fine. All right. All right. But I still, it, I ha I'm a bit confused with the third option as well. Okay. He kept the second road for another day. But he he says that the first one I kept for another day. He he has taken the second one. Yeah. And what? Okay. He made the claim. Uh, claim. <laughs> so, oh, look at it. He decided not to take the first road. Is also right. No. B. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Fine. All right. Come on, come on. Let's let's look at the third, uh, the the last paragraph. Mm. Uh, okay, please read. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. Okay, look at it. Uh, uh, why does the poet say I doubted if I should ever come back? It's on the third, uh, previous stanza, still. He thought that he would never come back to the same road again, to the first road. Maybe option A is the right one. Okay, let, let, let's look at it here. Uh, why does the poet say, I doubted if I should ever come back? He thought that he would never come back uh, to the first road. And he thought that the, he would never come back to the second road. He thought that he should not take the first road at all. He never thought that. No? He, he thought that he should not take the second, uh, he should not take the second he should not have taken the second road at all now how will you look at it you wanted to uh, select the first one yeah i'll go with the first no, no, one. but the question is i doubt it if i should ever come back hmm. so now he has not traveled he is at the at the at the point you know uh, at the crossroads in a way at the crossroads he says i doubt it i would never come back is it the doubt, a simple doubt, a human doubt of, of doubting oneself? Most of the time we doubt. I, I'm going to do this uh, session. I was doubting how far this will be effective for my learners. So every moment we doubt ourselves. Yeah. And we try to imbibe confidence in us, but that's a human tendency to doubt anyone. And more, you know, more, more importantly, the doubting uh, ourselves. That's what life is, yeah. uh, and and we talk about uh, confidence, faith, many many things. That's why the whole idea of faith in somebody, superpower, everything comes because it's human. Uh, we call it mind, the brain, which which functions so complex, and our ambitions are many, our our, our actions are many, and most of our actions we do not know what will happen, but we still we claim that we are right, we are great. Fine. Okay. Now, the next one. What should be the point telling people? He, he took the second road he would be telling. He took the less traveled road and that made the difference. The road, two roads diverged in a wood and he took the second road. He was happy to take the road he chose. Which one? I think it is option C. Two roads diverged in a wood and he took the second road. Because I see that, <laughs> see that in the last engine. <laughs> look at, look at it. No, no. What would, we, would he be telling hmm. the people? Look at the last stanza from here. Uh, I read out, I shall be telling this with a shy. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood and I, 
I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. What, what, would, he, what would he be telling people? Look at the questions there. Look Maybe at, two look, roads diverge in the wood. Uh, look at the B, uh, second one. And I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. Yes. Uh, no, no. The, yeah, the, B. <laughs> <laughs> okay. took the less traveled road and that has made okay. all the difference. Okay. He will be saying that. Now you said no in the beginning. Yeah. I wanted to be a doctor. So you will be telling not only to me, hundreds of people, whoever you will be meeting in your life, mm. will say, I, yeah, I too wanted to be that. When you go to uh, consult a doctor, you will say, sir I, or madam, I also wanted to be a doctor. So quite natural for humans because we, we aim something and it happens or it may not happen. But everybody has uh, regrets and things to celebrate. That, that's what we are looking at it. Uh, uh, now look at it. Uh, uh, oh, let us make the learners listen to the poem. Yeah, uh, with the help of an audio clip. Uh, fine, please go ahead. Now let us listen to the poem written by Robert Frost. The Road Not Taken. Page number 15 to 16. In the book. Huh? This well-known poem is about making choices and the choices that shape us. Robert Frost is an American poet who writes simply but insightfully about common, ordinary experiences. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. Now let us listen to the poem. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveller, long I stood, and looked down, one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for the passing there, though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by. And that has made all the difference. Uh, fine, all right, okay. Come on, look at it. Uh, uh, I think we, we are running out of time. So yeah. I have to tell some of the things. The dilemma you brought out very well uh, in our this conversation is just uh, discussing the poem. Uh, and deliberately, I have not shown the image of the poet Robert Frost. You can Google and find out. And he won Nobel Prize for his entire uh, uh, work uh, in English. And he stood for peace. He stood for human emancipation. And he stood for the human dilemma in life. So learners. Uh, the, the poem does not have uh, uh, a kind of set uh, rhyme scheme. You may, you may find the rhyme scheme by reading out the last word of each line and A, A B, e, B, B, A, some, some sort of thing you may find out. Then also read the poem as many times possible and try to write a summary of it. I will stop it there. Thank you very much. Yeah, mm. uh, sure. Mm. As it was about the road less taken or the road not taken, yeah, that was the title of the poem. So we all have to make certain choices in our life. We don't know what is going to be out aftermath, the consequences of the choices, but at least we have to make a wise choice. That is more important. And uh, apart from the academic perspective, I think this uh, poem really holds life values. Thank you, sir, for throwing thank, light thank, on thank you such an important aspect. And um, I would like to tell my learners that in case of doubts, feel free to reach out to us at our mail ID that is dth.class9 n. We'll be wrapping this session for class 9, the poem by Robert Frost. But we'll be back within a couple of minutes with the webinar. Stay connected to NCRT. Namaskar.